And if you thought you'd never hear the phrase Trump bump again, well, you're dead wrong about that. Hundreds of inquiries have been pouring into a website that's been encouraging Americans to move to Cape Breton if Donald Trump is elected president. Of course, this began as a tongue-in-cheek campaign, but it seems a great many Americans are dead serious about moving our way. Here's CTV's Ryan McDonald. Good morning. Following the election results, my family is seriously contemplating a new home. What started months ago as a joke has never been more real. Rob Calabrese's website, encouraging Americans to move to Cape Breton if Donald Trump became president, has been inundated with hundreds of inquiries since Trump won last night's U.S. election. There's a sense of urgency with the contacts. Now people are saying Trump is president and we don't feel safe anymore. SOS, I am a transgender individual in fear for my life even more so now. Some of the emails are from Americans who are scared, others who are simply disappointed. For Rob Calabrese, the feeling today is one of disbelief. Of course, nobody would ever think that we would get to this point, but here we are. I mean, the results have come in and suddenly we're getting emails and phone calls already. This Sydney immigration lawyer has been non-stop today, fielding questions from south of the border. It's not an easy process. It's a time-consuming process. And I think we've also advised people as well, rather than shoot straight for permanent residency or citizenship, to start looking at perhaps studying in Canada, looking for work opportunities here. As a Trump victory became more clear, the Citizenship and Immigration Canada website crashed for a couple of hours last night. The department confirming to CTV News that the outage was in fact due to a surge in people trying to access the site. As for the Cape Breton If Donald Trump Wins website, well, maybe it's time for a name change. The if is no longer applicable, so I'm open to suggestions on what to name it. He says the website will likely remain up for as long as Trump is president. And even if no one actually ends up moving here because of it, he feels the international exposure it has been bringing to Cape Breton Island makes it worth keeping. Ryan McDonald, CTV News, Sydney.